What is up resellers, hypebeast, and sneakerheads? My name is Duncan Beaumont, and in this video, I will be showing you guys how you can cop this Oregon theme colorway of the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffles. The official colorway name is the Tour Yellow and Gorge Green Sale, and they will be releasing on Thursday, December 17th for $180. We were originally supposed to get another colorway of these shoes on the 17th as well, which was the String and Black Villain Red colorway. Those are kind of like a red and light green looking colorway, sort of like some Christmas vibes those have been pushed back to the 21st but I will have a video on how to cop those as well so make sure you stay tuned for that as far as what we will cover in this video though we are going to be talking about the Oregon theme colorway like I said we'll be covering some raffles you guys should enter for these then we'll move into where to cop these on the official release date and finally as always we will conclude the video with some resale predictions so make sure you guys stick around for that also, if all that did sound interesting, make sure you smash that like button for me. Use that thumbs up as a good luck button to copying these shoes. If you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe as well because I will have videos like this for all hyped up sneaker releases. And if you want to start copying these hyped up sneakers for retail, whether you want to resell them and make some money or just save some money by getting sneakers for retail as opposed to paying resell, if all of that does sound interesting, make sure you do subscribe. Anyways though guys, now that we've got that intro out of the way, we are going to start the video off with some raffles you guys need to enter. The first raffle we are going to talk about is on Undefeated. They do kind of a shock raffle, kind of a shock drop but in raffle form, they will post on their Instagram 10 minutes before the raffle goes live. And when the raffle does go live, you only have 15 minutes to enter and they're not gonna announce it beforehand. They're not gonna announce when it will go live. You're only gonna have 10 minutes of notice. So what you are gonna wanna do is follow Undefeated on Instagram. Make sure you turn on their post notifications. They do raffles like this all the time, so it's definitely worth giving them a follow. Then when they do announce it, when the raffle does go live, you'll just click the link in their bio. There'll be a little form that you can fill out. I do wanna mention though, guys, when you are entering your email, make sure it's an email that's linked to an undefeated account. If it's just a different email, if you don't have an undefeated account with that email, the entry won't be valid. So that's undefeated. There's a small chance they wouldn't do a raffle and they would drop these on their site, but it's much more likely they'll do a raffle. So make sure you keep your eye out for that. The other two raffles are live right now. They are in-app raffles on SNS and N Clothing. Same deal for both of these. You just download those apps, create an account if you haven't done so yet. Both will actually be releasing both colorways. They have raffles for both colorways up right now. So you can go ahead and get your entries in for either colorway, even though the other colorway did get delayed to the 21st, at least for the sneakers app. So anyways, yeah, N Clothing, SNS, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. N Clothing will be selling for $235 as opposed to the retail price of $180. So that is gonna be $55 of profit you won't be making. Like I mentioned, we will cover some specific resale predictions towards the end of the video, but that $235 that price point will still be worth it. It's still gonna be worth entering in those raffles because you will still make money even if you do end up getting charged that $55 more. But anyways, guys, those are the main three raffles you should enter. There may be some other smaller raffles or raffles for in-store pickup near you guys, but these are the three main ones that anyone can enter. Now we are gonna move into where to cop these on the official release date. There's not a ton of retailers getting these. They are very limited. However, there's two sites that I recommend going for manually. Both will drop at 10 a.m. Eastern time. They are Kith and Nike sneakers. Always get questions about, well, if I go for one site, won't the other site be sold out? No, because sneakers will be a Leo drop, which is basically a two to three minute raffle. Kith is a Shopify site, should be a first come first serve release. And I do wanna talk about something that Kith has been doing lately that actually gives us manual users a much better chance of copying. So lately Kith has been having a question, which is just a way to stop bots because you have to enter in the answer to the question before you can add to cart. It's usually something easy like what color is an orange, how many letters are in the word Sakai, something like that, something super basic. Don't stress too much about this, but it will of us manual users a much better chance of copying. There's a good chance they will use this tactic for the Sakai release, so I definitely recommend trying to cop from Kith on this release. Again, it is a first come first serve release, so your goal needs to be to check out as fast as possible. Couple tips, make sure you're logged into an account with an address saved. Also, make sure you set up Google Chrome autofill with your credit card information. That way it should autofill all of that and you won't have to enter it manually, which will take a lot longer. That's about it though for Kith, guys. Pretty self-explanatory. It shouldn't take more than 30 seconds to sell out since it is a first come, first serve release. 
After that, whether you get a W or an L, you can head over to the Sneakers app, which you will have two to three minutes to enter, so you'll have plenty of time after going for Kith. Then you can just get your entries in there. What I recommend doing is having multiple devices, each logged into a different account, each on cellular data so they have different IP addresses. The shipping address should be able to be the same though, guys. That's the method I use that helped me cop the last Sakai Vapor Waffles they released, the black pair. Cop those from the Sneakers app pretty easily, so I definitely recommend using this method I just laid out for you guys. It's the method I use use best method you can use right now but really though guys that's about it just those two retailers releasing these online they are definitely good retailers to go for and you should have a decent chance of copying manually these are sites that the bots aren't going to take all the stock these are going to be very limited though so if you do take an L don't blame it on bots guys it's just simply because so many people want them and they are so limited which going over that that's a good segue into our next segment which is going to be resale predictions these are very limited however the colorway is not great the black colorway the white colorway that we saw released what was that like a month ago wasn't too long ago we saw those release now we're getting this much uglier colorway now we are going to take a look at the prices of the black and white colorway they do demonstrate that there's quite a bit of demand for this model the black colorway is currently selling for around six hundred dollars i think i sold mine for like 500 so i definitely wish i'd hold on to those the white colorway though that's more like 500 and since this colorway is not nearly as good as either of those I'm saying probably around $400, but since these are retailing for $180, you're still gonna double your money in just about any size. I recommend going for sizes seven to eight and a half because they will be the easiest to cop. And if you do cop, they will still resell pretty well. As far as whether to hold or sell these, I would probably just sell them because this colorway is not as much in demand. A couple months from now, if people are looking at this model, they're most likely gonna go with either the black or white colorway and not this colorway. The only reason they would cop this colorway is because it would be cheaper. So I would stay away from holding this. I'd sell it as fast as possible. I think they probably will go up long term, but it's just not gonna be worth the hold. The hold is gonna be too long and it won't be profitable enough for it to be worth it. But anyways, guys, that's about it. Those are my resale predictions. That's how to cop these, where to cop these from, all the raffles, everything like that. Really hope this video helped you guys out. Hope you are able to pick up a pair. And also do make sure you stay tuned for my video on the other colorway as well. That probably won't be as in depth as this one just because there won't be as many raffles by that time. But I will definitely have that video so stay tuned for that. Now I just want to thank you guys one more time for watching. I really appreciate it. Not going to waste too much time wrapping this video up. Just want to thank you guys like I said. Really appreciate that. Want to wish you guys good luck one more time. Hope you're able to pick up a pair either for resale or for personal. Till next time though guys. Peace out.